Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of I, the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful Rabbit Hole, Lauren Frey, and the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon. Now, I've been doing a lot of Nick Ricada coverage over the past couple of weeks. You know, I've done several Ricada retardations. I've done, like, some commentary on, like, Null and, like, you know, the situation with LawTube and stuff like that. And it's really gotten me thinking about, like, the current economy and, like, the way things are going. Specifically... Are YouTubers going to be the career path that gets fucked over the most by the recession? Because I cannot think of a more volatile, a more pointless, a more, like, uh, donation-reliant, uh, an attention-reliant. Like, I cannot think of a worse business model to have during the recession than being a YouTuber, than being a live streamer, being reliant on people having disposable income to spend on you instead of themselves or their families. That is what I've been thinking about lately. That's what I have been thinking about in regards to Rakeda lately is just, is his business model going to be viable going forward? And I really do think at some point there is going to be a fallout. I do think at some point YouTubers, every single one of them, are going to see a severe drop of income. And because of the way they act, because of like you know their lack of real skills, because their their lack of investing properly, because of their uh, lack of real responsibility, because of like just you know the nature of what it takes to be a YouTuber, you know they don't have they don't have anything squared away. They won't have the ability to deal with uh, with a decline of revenue the way that like someone with like an actual skill would. You know what I mean? Like Rakeda has like thrown everything he's had into live streaming and not only has he lost all of his audience, not only has he alienated everyone in the legal sphere, not only has he like completely given up on his law practice, but he's done that during a recession. He's done that during a period of time in which this kind of thing is going to be unviable. And I'm very curious to see just how much of a drop off we're going to see here. Like simply because of simply because of like how bad things are looking right now. You know, we are in the middle of just a complete economic collapse. Nobody wants to admit it, nobody wants to talk about it, but like things are gonna get worse. Okay. And I think streamers, uh, people like Rakeda, they incorrectly assume that they are going to be Fine. They they one percent uh, they're one percent convinced that the money is going to keep coming in no matter what. That people will continue supporting them. That people will feel sorry for them because of the recession, and that they're going to continue donating, watching, and supporting. I don't think so. Right. More and more people are going to like you know, be forced back into the workplace. They're going to be like working do uh, dawn till dusk or dust till dawn in my case they're going to be like doing everything they possibly can to you know, provide for their families you know keep a roof over their heads and like survive the economic collapse they're not gonna have time to watch some drunk ramble on about like only fans thoughts for like four hours like like they have been over the past on like i think even now people have tuned out to a certain extent. Like, I think it's already begun. Like, I think the decline of, like, these kind of YouTube channels is already spiraling. And yeah, they have, like, a dedicated uh, autistic audience. Yeah, sure, they have a following. Yeah, sure, they have a group of people who will, like, stick with them no matter what. But are those the sort of people you want watching your content? Are those the sort of people who will be able to, like, indulge you in your lifestyle, like, long term, for the rest of your life? The answer is no. Like, over time, those people are going to drop off, they're going to get bored, they're going to die, they're going to, like, move on with their lives, right? Th th there's going to be all sorts of reasons for this, but, like, the decline of viewership is, for a YouTube channel, is inevitable, right? It's something that, like, every YouTuber really should understand and appreciate, is that, like, their business model, what they do is not going to last all that long, right? On average, the average YouTube channel lasts like five years before like having a, a steep decline, a noticeable decline. And like Rakeda is in the middle of that like downward, downward slope now, but he's not even like wanting to admit it openly, right? There, there are people like that, like all over the platform who just tank in viewership and are still living off of like what meager offerings they get from like from YouTube and from the community, right? Like how, how exactly is Darkseid Phil or Wings of Redemption going to look like 10 years from now. Like, Wings is going to be dead. Like, I am 100% certain that, like, Wings will be dead, like, 10 years from now. DSP, like, I'm sure, you know, he'll be divorced. He'll, like, have lost everything he has. Like, you know, I'm sure he'll, like, figure out something, you know. But, like, I think for the vast majority of the, uh, like, YouTubers, like, the people who don't have, like, a severe following of people just moderate, moderating, uh, moderate, monitoring, their every move 
Like there's going to be like nothing like that. They're not going to have people like documenting their downfall and like watching them until like the very bitter end. Like for most YouTubers, for the average YouTuber, like this is the end for them. Like they will not be able to compete. Like not only with other YouTubers, but with like just just by nature of just like their their standard living costs, right? Like a lot of these people are, and they're going to hate to admit this, going to have to get out and get a job. So excited to see these miserable, these uh, these uh, degenerates go out and actually like you know do something for once in their lives. But uh, yeah, I think it is inevitable. I do think that like um, you know smaller channels, uh, small to mid range channels are going to like severely struggle, and uh, bigger channels, you know, the the corporate backed ones. I, I think they're they are going to see a, a significant drop of income. People are not going to waste their time watching these people anymore, and. It's only a matter of time until we see this directly affecting them personally.